Hello, hope all is well with you and your family. Thank you for joining us today. Well, it's time for our community conversation, and we have a special guest with us today. Her name is Nima Saleem. Nima, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Of course, thank you. So as she said, my name is Nima Saleem. I am super excited to be here. I um, got started about you know seven years ago. I come from a community mental health background. So I have done direct counseling as well as I'm an art therapist. So that bridges me into the East Cleveland Neighborhood Center actually where I'm the program manager and overseeing some of the different programs that we have there and we offer. Great, it's a wonderful organization and our library have been collaborating with you all on many different programs and events and it's just you're a good group of people to work with. Tell us what you got going on this summer. We have all the things going on this summer, oh, great. so um, tons of stuff. One of the things that we do have coming up is our Freedom Schools program. It is a reading literacy program for individuals K through 8, and um, it's really to bridge in the, the awareness of having fun with reading and having excitement great. and culturally inclusive conversations. And it's in the summer, but it doesn't even feel like you're you know, like, oh my gosh, I have to go to this like program. It's fun, it's exciting. And that's what really this is all about is enriching the lives of our youth through a program that's fun, exciting, and empowering um, and beneficial to their summer. Um, we also have a parent cafe program that we run. It's um, usually three, ser three sessions combined into one. And that's really mm -hmm. about building into parent conversations on parenting resiliency, building support, community connections, and feedback. Um, we just got done with one and we'll be starting one up in another few weeks. Good, good. Where are you all located? Where is East Cleveland Neighborhood Centers located? Absolutely. So we're actually located 1843 Stanwood Road, um, just down the street here in East Cleveland. Are you located inside a facility, a school, or do you have a separate building? That's a great question. We are actually um, at where Shaw High School is. It's kind of adjacent in the old Prospect Elementary building. It's now an admin building, so we're located um, right inside that building. Oh, great, great. What are your hours? Because parents need something for their children to do on weekends. Are you available on weekends? So, yeah, we um, typically have our hours open really from about, you know, typical 8, 8.30 to 5. Um, and it's really looking at what parents need. That's a great comment you brought up because, you know, when you work first, second, third shift, like what do I have going on? What can, when can I come up and sign up for things? We are as flexible as possible um, for the parents, so we do have some opportunities and programming we're considering for even Saturdays. Oh, wonderful! Um, because if you're working all day, you don't even have time to come in in the morning or evening time to sign up for something. So we're looking at that as well. Oh, that's that's good to know. And your program is excellent because it always ties into literacy. Yeah, and, and I really like that. Yeah, we have, um, with, in addition to our Parent Cafe and Freedom Schools program, we, um, we do a lot of stuff with the school systems to br build into excitement and fun and prevention, such as like conflict resolution, self-empowerment, yes. identity, because, you know, it's, it's all about like whatever an adolescent or youth, you know, uh, young or a little bit older like adolescent is going through. So tons of opportunity there. Great, great. Now, the East Cleveland Public Library has lots of resources for parenting, motherhood, even dads. Um, let me just share some of our selection I put out here for you today. I wish I'd known that before. The 42 best kept secrets of motherhood. How many times have you told yourself, I wish I knew that? <laughs> Family's traditions based on diversity. Um, no matter what race or culture, we all have certain different traditions um, that we follow on a yearly basis. The formula, I like that. Unlocking the secrets to raising highly successful children. Everybody has a different formula, and that's important too because no formula is the same. Of course, what works for one family may not necessarily work for another. The Grown-Up's Guide to Teenage Humans. Sometimes teenagers seem like a different species, but they're humans as well. And, and they're just as enjoyable at every age. 
I enjoy children at every age. I'm just going to move on through here. The Adoptive Parenting Handbook. It's always great when a child can receive a parent um, because their parent is absent for whatever re reason. Got some good information on that handbook. My son wears heels, diverse. You may have a child that's experiencing um, identity, um, concerns, and you need to know how to deal with those, those touchy topics and help them get through the best way they possibly can. This is a book for parents for gay, of gay kids. Lift that up. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the kid code. The kid code, 30 second parenting strategies to working with and raising children. So, always remember to support your community library and your community organizations that are reaching out and we're here for you during the COVID and we were here before and we'll be here after. I'd like to thank Nima Celine for taking out the time to come and share a wealth of valuable information and we will wrap it up by saying, uh, Nima, if you had one piece of advice you'd like to give in regards to parenting, what would that be? Ooh, that's a tough one, but yeah. you know, I could give all the things. Um, <laughs> yeah. But honestly, you know, there's no great master answer. Sometimes we want it, right? Yeah. We're like, okay, what do I do? How do I do this? What, like, give me all the answers, but like the answers, as cheesy as it might sound, are within you. Oh, so, yes. so really looking at, you know, the biggest thing that I would say is just talk. Being able to talk to your child, talk to your parent, it doesn't matter what time of day, but honestly being able to find a time that works for you as the parent or works for the child as the youth to be able to talk about what's going on, identity, confusion, um, issues, uh, successes, you know, yes. um, whatever time of day, it doesn't matter, but just opening up the door and letting that communication like flow and that intersection happen. Good advice, good advice. Yeah. And if I were asked that question, I would say PA, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your child's mental health, their physical health, their ability to communicate, as well as socialize with the parents, other um, youth, siblings, people their age, and um, it, the list goes on and on, but we just want to share a couple tips with you. Thanks for joining us. I, I thank you for joining us for our community conversation. Have a good day and be safe.